There are a few different techniques for creating a new workbook in Microsoft Excel. You already know that by default when you launch Excel, it opens up a blank workbook. You can then begin by inputting your data into the cells and creating the structure of your worksheet or spreadsheet and save it as a new document. But you can also open up already existing formats and structures for various documents by opening up templates or pre-existing documents in Microsoft Excel. To do that, if you come up here to your Office button and select it by clicking once, notice that you have a new command that you can choose from the menu. Go ahead and select that and notice that it opens up a dialog box that gives you quite a few options for opening up different types of documents as brand new documents. You can choose a blank document and notice that this by default is selected when this dialog box first opens. And over here, you can, if you want a blank workbook, simply choose blank workbook and choose create. This gives you a preview of what you'll be creating to the right of this dialog box. And you could also choose from recently used templates and these are templates or documents that I have opened up already on my system and you can simply select one to view it over here on the right hand side of the dialog box and then choose create but you can explore and open up other templates as well when you install Excel by default you are also installing some templates directly on your system if I select installed templates off here to the left notice that this will list all the templates that have been installed directly on your system. And again, you can select them to get a better view of what you're looking at, that template. You can also choose from my templates. Now, I have just one template that's in my template directory, and these are templates that you use often or that you might have created from an Excel worksheet that you use quite commonly and you can again just select them and choose OK. I'm going to just cancel out of here so we can look at the other options available and you can also create a new workbook from existing documents and if you select this choice it will open up a explorer window that will allow you to explore to a document that you have created and then you can select it and say well I want to create another new document from this existing document and when you click create new it will open up a brand new document that has the same structure and formatting as well as information that was in the original document that you created the new document from then you can go through and just change the information again I'm going to just cancel out of here so we go back to this dialog box and then I'd like to point out that on Microsoft Office online website you will find quite a few different categories as well as templates that are available for you to download and use notice that here in plans I have a list of quite a few different plan spreadsheets that have already been created if I want to get a better view of them again simply select them and look off to the right here at a larger view of that spreadsheet and then if you want to download this you simply click the download button and it will actually go out to Microsoft's website and download that template now it will validate your Microsoft Office software and that's what this dialog box is asking or telling you templates are only available to customers running genuine Microsoft Office software if your software is genuine and it can be validated simply click the continue button and that will download the template to your system and it actually downloads it into a directory in your Microsoft Excel directory called templates notice that it also opens up the new document that was created from a template on Microsoft's website that was created in an earlier version of Microsoft Excel so it is opened up in the compatibility mode if you wanted this to be upgraded to an Excel 2007 document simply save it as an Excel 2007 document and that will turn off the compatibility mode we'll learn more about saving documents later in this tutorial but right now this is a new document and to use it or to save it you would need to save it with a new file name I'm going to go ahead and close it 
and not save it. And then for the sake of our project to begin our hands-on practice, you want to have open a blank document. If you do not have a blank Excel workbook open, go to your Office button and again choose New. Make sure Blank Workbook is selected over here and then choose Create. This will open up a blank workbook that we will use in the following movies that make up this tutorial.